place is called the Southern House of Nigeria, the National Institute for Policy and Strategy Studies, make a platform for political parties and aspirants to come here and ventilate their program. Today we have the Accord Party presidential aspirants where he recorded his program. Speaking on the dilapidated and epileptic electricity supply in the country, the presidential candidate who speak confidently on the issue says, We understand the problem and we know it is a policy problem. We shall also be working strongly with the National Electric and Regulation Power Commission in a bid to liberalize the sector and make it more responsive in our collective power needs. The professor told the course participants who are now awaiting formal inauguration that it is quite unfortunate that education, which remains the bedrock of any society, is now faced with challenges in the Nigerian society and promised to address the sector. Education is the key to illuminating the mind of an individual. It therefore means that an, an uneducated people is in darkness. A country that needs speedy development must make education of the citizen top priority. He promised to fund initiatives in the Nigerian universities, adding that it is only by such doing practical solutions facing Nigerian society can be addressed. Speaking on the security challenges which seem to divide all practical solutions, the candidate said there are over 40,000 illegal entry points into Nigerian society and promised to reconstruct our porous border against external aggression. Our core government will change the narrative by ensuring continuity in policies, formation with, without sacrificing the need for change necessitated by a new trend in developing an emerging national dream and aspiration. He also promised to complete the ongoing and abundant projects, particularly ones that will have a direct bearing to the life of Nigerians. Earlier, Professor Ayo Omatayo, the Director General of the Institute, represented by Professor Fumi Paramalum, the Director of Studies at the Institute, urged other candidates of the political parties to take the advantage of the interface to speak to Nigerians. A very good platform that will be extended to all political actors to keep faith in Nigerians in expressing why they, they have this desire to be the country and how 